What's up gang, Jackson Galaxy, your cat daddy here. And today we are answering yet another question from one of you intrepid viewers out there. And uh, I'm thankful that there are so many of you from all over the world. It gives me just a little bit of like, ooh, that little bit of joy. Every time I see what an incredible community we are worldwide. I've been made much more aware of this as of late, uh, as we do more and more virtual cat camps. And we see that you guys are just all over the world watching uh, and listening listening to what uh, me and a lot of other cat experts have to say uh, about cats and also of course having some fun with it. Just be aware, another cat camp coming uh, in the springtime of 2021. And in the meantime, you can go back on this very channel and see our last cat camp. So anyhow, that all aside, today we are talking about, well, you know, we've been talking about this a lot as kitten play, but this time we are talking about cats chomping on things as kittens and what can be done about it. So let's talk, well, we're not gonna talk to, we're going to listen to what uh, our viewer Asta has to say about her cat, Kenta. Hi Jackson, I have this 12 week old Maine Coon kitten. His name is Kenta. It's our cool down time, but um, he likes to chew on his stick toy. So I was wondering if it's normal because of his teeth development or is it like a bad habit developing? And I'm not even sure how to distract him if it's a bad habit because um, we do play a lot with all different toys but when it comes to these stick toys during the play or without a play the moment he sees those sticks he likes to chew on them thank you all right asked a great question and uh some obvious answering uh to this and some not so obvious uh the first thing is let's have a little bit of background so kenta you say is uh 12 weeks old that is uh using cat daddy no math skills. That's about three months old. Wow, he's a big three month old there, but you said he's a Maine Coon, so he's gonna get a lot bigger. So here's the thing, between two weeks and nine weeks old, those baby teeth are coming in. By about Kenta's age, they start falling out to make room for the adult teeth. And then by about six to seven months, all the teeth are in, which means Kenta is, has been, and will be teething. And we know that Maine Coons develop over a longer stretch of time than other cats. So expect that teething to go on for just a little bit. So what can we do for Kenta to avoid what we're seeing here? Which to your point, Asta, is not a good thing. We don't want him chewing on chunks of plastic or chunks of anything, including flesh, human flesh, uh, which he's gonna do a little bit of that as well. He's gonna just find anything he can to chomp on. So the goal is to say no to the bad chomping and yes to the good chomping and yes there is good chomping so let's get to the bad first okay so obviously what he's doing right now with his interactive toy is a big old no if he's going for your hands big old no feet the same thing big old no. we just anything that could then become a part of his life as an adult uh, we want to break that habit now so what can we do so from the hand and foot standpoint and and any other part of your body that is gonna it's gonna be an ouch on your part so make sure you say it if he's doing first of all we don't want to give him the, the signal that hands are toys. No hand play whatsoever. Uh, if he does come up to your fingers or toes while you're sleeping or whatever and chomp on them, make sure he knows that that is something you don't want. So that high pitched like yo sound, something like that has worked in the past. Uh, but the other thing is to immediately redirect him onto something that is positive. And we'll get to that in a second. So then we've got what he's chomping on right now, which are toys that have sticks on the end of them. So the obvious thing here Asta that we're seeing is that you're giving him the stick. You're letting him uh, pick it up off the ground and chew on it. Or while you're playing, you sort of present the stick at the same time you're presenting the fuzzy toy or the feather or whatever is the good part at the end of the stick. Like I said, the obvious thing is just don't let him have it. Toys like uh, interactive toys, and on, in his case, just about any toy, should be put away when he's not playing with them. And then you bring them out and then you supervise. Uh, I think that if he tends to eat eat anything that's in his way, then you don't want to wind up at the vet in the middle of the night because he's trying to digest something that's undigestible. So all toys should be supervised with kittens, period. And so you put it away. But that has a bright side to it. That means that whenever you break it out of the cabinet that it's in, he's going to learn the, si the sound of that cabinet and he's going to be like, oh, game on, you know? And that means that the time between the two of you from the get-go is high value to him. And that's really important. And so then when he starts to chew on that piece of the toy, just take it away. Take it away, direct him to what's supposed to be played with, and it's not the stick. So it's just really important for you as the parent to be like, 
nah, this is not gonna fly here. Uh, what is gonna fly is the feather. We're gonna watch this go for a little while, then we're gonna present it in a hunting way. We have uh, videos on proper play, just follow my finger up there, and uh, you'll see what I'm talking about right there. It'll get you more into the step-by-step -step of really high-value play with your kitten. Again, a habit to just ingrain early on. He will not get the kind of payoff that he wants from your hands, but he is gonna get that payoff from an appropriate toy. Now, in the meantime, what can we direct him to um, that is also high value, but will get that chewing that he needs to get out of his system? There are plenty of toys that are made of, of fabrics that are, are okay to chomp on, like sisal or something like that. But at the same time, there's also teething toys. Uh, there are companies that make that those hard rubber toys. And if he goes for that, then great, because those are literally indestructible unless he's like a baby tiger, which, yeah, I mean, I guess they all are to a certain degree, but you know what I'm saying, like a big mouth with a powerful jaw, which I'm sure he doesn't, judging by the look of him, that that stick takes up enough of that mouth, you know? So those hard rubber toys are okay. Also, just having toys that are chewable. Um, I also am a big fan of kickers for a lot of different reasons. It helps get that sort of kitten play frustration out, but he can also chomp on it, and there's no problem whatsoever with that. So kickers are also a really good thing. Finally, the thing that I think is great for any cat, and you know, we've gone through a lot of nutritional videos here where you guys are like, well, dry food helps clean teeth. No, 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 it does not it, at all. Uh, but what will help clean teeth are raw bones. And there are many companies that sell raw meaty bones and they can be chicken necks or wings or things like that. And you may think to yourself, oh my God, why would I let my cat chomp on a bone? It, it, it'll get stuck and that whole thing. Raw bones will not. Cooked bones will. Never give your cat, not never give your kitten cooked bones because they will splinter in very weird ways. They will get stuck. It's just a big, big no-no. But raw bones, don't forget, if your kitten was out there hunting or learning how to hunt, what would he be eating? He'd be eating everything from his prey, including the bones. And bones are really nice teething mechanisms, right? So look for um, a company that sells raw, meaty bones and, and let him go to town. And again, just like with anything else with your kitten, are you listening, Asta? Anything else with your kitten, everything is done supervised. You never leave it out and let him make his own decisions because look at him, he's 12 weeks old and most of the decisions that he's making right now are the kind of decisions that I probably made when I was four years old. Whoa, what happens if I stick my finger in the socket? You know, that kind of... And I did that way too many times. You know, you figure you're gonna learn it after one or two times. No, 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 Jackson was just like, I kind of felt good. Anyhow, enough about me. Okay, so don't forget, Asta, for every no that you're gonna give your kitten at this point, there's gotta be a yes right behind it. We're teaching them, this doesn't give you the payoff that you want, and I'm not really crazy about you doing it, but this does give you the payoff, and here's something that he can take with him for those first six months, if not a little bit longer, of him teething, and then after that, he's got good habits. What to play with, what's appropriate, what's gonna give him that thrill of the hunt, and what's gonna get him a big fat no, which is your, your arms, your hands, your fingers, your your, your toes and everything in between. And there you have it, Asta. Thank you for asking the question. I'm sure this will be helpful for a lot of folks with teething kittens. And if you guys want your questions answered, you know the drill at this point. Just go to this link right here, put up a video just like Asta did, show us your cute cats just like she did with Kenta doing bad behavior. Bad, bad Kenta. No, no, never. He's the cutest thing in the world. So let me see your cat, let me see you, and hopefully I'll answer your question. Don't forget, subscribe, hit that there bell because then you're reminded every time something comes up that you might want to see and pass this on if you've got friends with kittens because they need all the help they can get, right? Because, you know, kittens will fill your hands up very quickly and bite them too. All right, you guys, until next time, all light and all love and all mojo. Oh, the kitten's going for me. All mojo to you. Bad, bad Jackson. Meow.